Howdy there folks and welcome back to Complete Movie Hours Gaming and today welcome so much to Creeper World 3. Um, it's probably one of the most fun and, and different tower defense games that I've been playing for you know as long as I um as long as I've played games. <laughs> um what it's all about is it's a fluid um enemy which is a fluid <laughs> Um, and you build your defenses up against that and you are you need to take out the spawners for your enemies and that's what it's all about and it's it's challenging and it's different and it it, it has a lot of a lot of uh, fun aspects to it the story I'm not gonna go through the story I'm gonna play all the missions but uh, or the missions uh, but I'm not gonna be playing um, or, or doing the whole storyline although the story is fairly decent I uh, just want to point that out uh, I've I have finished the game myself um, but I've restarted the whole um, how far you get uh, the, my whole progress so uh, I'm starting off from from first the first mission um, and what you have to do to begin with is you gotta land your command post your command uh, structure we're gonna put that there also worthy of note creep world 4 Google that Shit, I mean, it's under development, and it's been so for a year or so, and it's one single developer, so it's going to take some time before it actually releases. But, holy smokes, did that game look... Ugh, I cannot wait. Uh, regardless, I uh, just wanted to, um, you know, to, to start doing this. Collectors give you energy, um, and there are a couple of strategies that are important to, to keep in mind when you um, uh, place them down. Um, mainly the fact that they, uh, we'll see that in a second, I'll, I'll rather wait and, and do it when uh, when it gets relevant, let's see. As you can see, uh, the white is where it gathers energy from, so it cannot cross over um, different levels of, um, of the map, so a um, collector placed here will not collect energy from, from down here. Uh, so we're going to start start it now like as is uh, and the reason why I have laid it out like this not connected up here for example or filled in the blanks in the middle is uh, quite frankly because uh, you only have so much resources to begin with and if you were to start off um, sending energy to all of these it would take a lot longer before you had a um, the energy surplus worth worthy of note uh, so we're going to continue on down here I think um just to um get that done as well there and this is this is mission number one so this is is very much overdoing it for considering where we are uh in the game so far uh and now you can see we we uh white means we got enough energy for for what's needed at the moment um so we could easily expand upon this uh, setup right here or the setup up here you can see the green space is where we where we got it covered um, I'm moving way too fast now um, we're gonna try to fill in as many blanks as possible this is again uh, unnecessary in, uh, in this early of the game but when you get get on um, I mean the final mission I think it is or at least one of the final missions if you don't pause the game, uh, you will never have time to to finish it off. And uh, I basically placed all my structures more or less. I think I placed all my structures uh, way before um, the game actually, or way before I um, I even hit play. And then just cross my fingers and, and hoped it w would work. That's the final mission, though, and that that thing is hard. It's not so hard when you when you um, get what you need to do, but um, until said point, do not want to be messing around with that. All right, so um, I get that um, me placing collectors might not be uh, what you came here for. So let's uh, move on. Uh, we got plenty of uh, of. Um, energy now we can easily um, maintain quite a few uh, turrets so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move oops 
Uh, I'm going to move my um, collectors downwards here. Because um, you see these lines here, and that, and that is the connection to the command hub. And the command hub is what dishes out um, energy to um, all sorts of stru structures. Uh, like, for example, the weapons. Um, now, in this mission here, I don't even know if we would have needed a cannon. We probably wouldn't. I'm guessing we could hit this um, emitter right here, which is the goal of this map, is to... Um, Give, give power to this, which unlocks a new module, either a, um, a structure or a weapon, sometimes a titan. Um, and uh, usually you also have to take out the emitters in order to do so. Uh, or you have to take out the emitters anyways, because that is required to finish the mission. Uh, and you, uh, your turrets get da da damaged by uh, this blue stuff here, which is the creep, or the creeper. You can move your turrets around, so if I move, were to move my uh, turret down here, I'm not sure if it will, will probably take out this creeper right here before it gets, see, it didn't get, da it didn't get destroyed. But the little green bar at the bottom there shows that it, it got damaged. Uh, as you can see here now when it lands, it started taking damage, the green bar. This is a very low level creeper, um, it's only one level over here, we got two levels. But it, again, it's it's crazy little. It, no need to to worry about this stuff. Um, so so let's just um, finish off the mission. Uh, I saw I could place it there somewhere. There we go. The nullifier takes out these um, emitters for you. So, so you know if you place one of those down, then then mission accomplished. Done what you're supposed to do. Uh, another thing that is is worth um, keeping in mind is the fact that you'll have to um, transport the uh, resources needed to to shoot your weapons and to build your structures from the command post over here. And that takes some time when you when you start getting to larger maps. So so keep that in mind. Uh, oops, we uh, broke the connection back to back to the command hub, and so none of these have any damage, any ammo. And there you can see we lost a pulse cannon because of my my um, mistakes. And there we go. Once that is built, there we go. That was just a a shield key. So um, hence we we can't really um, or we didn't get anything new from that. Uh, continue without submitting. Um, so the way the game works is you have to collect shield keys um, in order to play certain missions and in, in order to progress. Uh, so we unlock the shield key for this uh, planet right here. This is done because it's green around it. You can see a quick little minimap of the map we're going to be playing in up here. And you can also check out the online scores if you're into that kind of stuff before you before you get going. So uh, here we are in the second um, second mission. You can see the stories come up here. Uh, you can click through them fairly easily. Uh, we'll pause it to begin with. Place our command structure up in the corner. It will we though? Uh, I think we'll place it more towards the middle. Let's say there. Um, and the reason for that is, um, uh, you know, once that is done, we can. Um, um, have it closer to the front lines of of our um, of the war war zone. Um, and then we're gonna be placing a few of these around like so. I'm gonna try to connect up as many of these as possible uh, because those are basically free energy. You usually don't get uh, free energy in this this way um, when you play the game. But most certainly worthy of a uh, little bit of a uh, grab, those. Uh, I'd say the story, I mean, um, the story isn't amazing, but it's still fair ways good, better than, than a lot of um, uh, game story. Um, it's a fair bit better than most, than a lot of, of stories in games, especially indie games. 
Uh, and nothing, nothing against any games. I love any games. Uh, mostly what I play on the channel. Uh, mostly what I play on on this not channel as well. <laughs> um, but you know they have lower lower budgets and can't really hire um, story writers um, to to write their stories for them. Uh, whilst you know AAA games can easily do so if they so desire. Um, here we are. Let's place one up there. Uh, let's go down this way. Oh, that one's getting destroyed. No doubt about that. Make a few up on the um, peaks here, mountain peaks. Uh, what um, turrets can shoot across, uh, it can shoot downwards, but not upwards. Uh, except for we don't have it yet, but there's a mortar mortar that can also shoot upwards, which is um, swell. Oops. What you what you have to uh, keep in mind with with this game, which you know you usually don't have to give two cents about in in a normal um, in most games, is that the the enemy uh, or in most uh, tower defenses, I should say. The enemy will flank you. The will if you if you like if we didn't build build anything up here now, the creeper would most likely come around here and build itself up, and take out you know all of the stuff down downwards here if we didn't uh, do anything about it. Uh, maybe not this early on because um, these two turrets might be more than enough to to handle it. But later on, that is a a true challenge. Because you you have limited resources and hence it would uh, it, it's very demanding to keep the creeper off of all fronts. Uh, so what you can do then is you build a few uh, turrets back towards your um, base over here, and you multi-select them by by clicking Shift. You know normal normal uh, stuff right there. We'll send them there. They'll land more or less simultaneously because they left from the same place and go into more or less the same place. Uh, so like that, and and then you can like clear yourself a little bit of a path um, for for um, taking out some further future bases. There's a future creeper. Um, and then we have this new um, uh, structure right here, which is called the relay, uh, which doesn't grab any energy from from the ground. But what it does do is um, it, it can transport energy over longer distances as well as faster than the uh, regular um, than the regular um, collectors, which can be a, a huge bonus um, when you when you have a larger map, you need energy to the front quick as it can be. Uh, let's see, we'll put one there. I uh, can't reach up here. All right, place a couple up here, anyways. That I'll pay, put put a uh, relay up here as well, I think. And best not forget about your um, resources either, because what this happens at least to me a lot is you um, get to get to green energy and you start holding off the creeper while while having a decent amount of energy. And then um, as you expand forwards, you forget that you're also needing more resources in order to sustain your attack. And, and you know, one thing le leads to another and all of a sudden you're out of energy. Unideal or non-ideal, if you will. Uh, what we can do though is we can uh, move our way downwards here, say there. See, nullifier can attack that, which is a um, I don't remember what those are called. Should have known, should have remembered, but I don't. There we are, and victory. Whoop, whoop. Ending without submitting, and uh, once you've finished off, uh, I mean, there's more missions than these two, don't worry. You go to the sector map, second uh, sector, uh, where there are three, 
as you can see here, three, five, five, three, one, uh, two, one, uh, one, yeah, plenty. Once you've finished off the main campaign, you have three different um, ways of playing the game after that as well, which is, um, which uh, I think the alpha sector is before space, so that is completely whacked up. I uh, don't remember what the Prospector Zone is or the Torment to Space is. Torment to Space is where you have very little space to build and mostly just space. And, and imagine a space debris field where you can only build in the debris. I think that's what it is. Uh, I don't really remember. It's been a while since I played the game last. As you can see here, these maps are, or these uh, planets here have um, fields on them. So, you know, I cannot do them. But if we're going here to, uh, was that Talos? Is that Talos? All right, uh, never mind. Um, Talos, of course, being being Earth. I think we'll just go safe inside here. We could have tried to quickly expand from out here, and and uh, hold that ground. That way, we'd start closer to the emitters, um, and we wouldn't have to deal with the getting down the slopes here, uh, kind of business. Uh, but I think we'll we'll uh, go slow and easy, uh, take it safe, you know, um, at least from the from the get go. This year, um, at least from the looks of it, is the mortar, uh, which it can be incredibly powerful used correctly. Um, it can also be incredibly powerful used incorrectly, I suppose. Uh, and what that does is it it shoots. Um, it shoots up and over st stuff like uh, this turret right here wouldn't be able to shoot over this but it can shoot downwards the more can stay here and hit what's on the ground over here uh, which is you know uh, has a, a barrier in between we'll just build up the base here and uh, it gets to there we go uh, no that was the reactor All right, that's a bonus energy for you um, not bonus energy, but it, it produces energy. Uh, not a lot of energy though. Um, where they have a, a a note, mental note. You need a ton of them in order to to sustain your base. Um, so my my personal thought on it is go with the collectors as far as it goes. And uh, if you cannot get the collectors to to do the job properly. Go with um, some. Um, go with some um, uh, reactors as well, because I mean the reactors can easily come in handy. Don't get me wrong. Just you know they're they're not on the level of um, of the the collectors in terms of energy production. They're also a lot more expensive. Um, but we'll put you there, and I think we'll make the turrets up here. And we'll move them down once they've gotten a little bit of ammo. There we are. And then we can also start expanding our um, energy collection uh, down this way something like that we'll place a couple over this way uh, obviously we wouldn't need this many turrets right now um, but uh, we're going to need it once we hit the next uh, tier of, of um, this is the space out here once we you know move our turrets forward um, that's going to come in handy. You can throw down a couple of reactors. I'm going to go slow with them uh, because they require so much energy to, energy to, to make. We can also start pushing our, our turrets forward. Uh, as you can see here, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but the red um, bar up here is their ammo level, uh, which means um, they... they um, if, if I were to move this here, it could shoot until its ammo was out. Uh, which is is very useful if you need to uh, like if the only place I could get a um, a collector uh, connection was here 
and um, you know the creeper was here already. I could send uh, you know a few uh, gunned up uh, turrets down here and and clear out the the creeper before I uh, place the reactor uh, the, the collector. Uh, so with our two collectors done so far, we can uh, throw in a couple more. This is you know not even close to to um, deal setup. Uh, and also, uh, as you can see, our, our network now is red. Our turrets are still firing. What that means is probably they would uh, start running out of ammo slowly but steadily. As you can see here, this guy here is has does not have full ammo. This guy does, if you can see the difference in their bars. Once these finish off, though, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have a uh, decent ammo, uh, energy supply again. You can see that the network is starting to get wider again. Um, and you can also follow this um, here if you if you're so, or up here uh, if you if you feel so inclined. Uh, right now we are producing 13.6, and we are losing. Or, uh, sorry, not losing. Uh, we are uh, spending 2.0 ish uh, per tick um, in order to sustain our our. Uh, attack slash defense uh, we'll start making a few more turrets I think just so we can push a little bit more aggressively and can we fit you in there we can beautiful these guys forward and the beauty of this now is that we can have a defense layer which means we can push our turrets forward further uh, when we push um, at least for for this area up here uh, whilst you know if you if you're gonna push with the turrets holding your your perimeter you you probably need to um, move move a shorter distance in order to not let the creeper completely over overrun the position you're about to take or the position you just held um, that is at least uh, what I would suggest go with that and we'll also start making our relay network a little bit more extensive I think go there and here I think we're gonna try to squeeze one in at the end there as well. And same goes over here. Once this is done, I think we'll move up our, our turrets again. Put you there, you there. One guy here who doesn't get fueled, or uh, not fueled, en energized. Would not get energy was was what I was aiming for. Um, as you can see, you know the structures such as this makes a little bit of a uh, a um, uh, what do you call it? It's impractical because it keeps you from shooting around the corner, uh, which by all means makes a lot of sense. It just makes for a little bit of a challenge uh, later on, at least. Keep going now about later on, later on, later on. But um, yeah. Uh, the thing with the nullifier is the creeper cannot touch it while it charges up, and it takes a while to charge up. Uh, so you want to try your very best to keep that thing safe. Uh, same goes with most structures, actually. Um, trying to when you're building structures, usually you have to um, be careful so as to not let them get um, damaged by the creeper. Or touched by the creeper, if you so desire. Right, so we are, we will be taking this out. No worries, all. Uh, we can move that forward a little, um, and uh, we can easily take that one out now. So what's left now is this one over here, uh, or that's the only one left. Um, worrying about. Uh, let's go for another nullifier then. That was 
not what I wanted to select. There we go. Um, I think I'll move this turret here a little bit forward and try to place it behind it. I need it one more forward. One tick longer forward. Here we are. I'm going to send a turret over to, to that side of it as well in order to really keep it safe. Uh, and we can start sending these ones over here. Now, the, the, we didn't um, touch up on this in the last uh, mission because it wasn't really relevant then. But if I were to um, see, move this a little bit further, like so, once these are built, there we go. As you can see, if I move this here, it it gets a lot more effective. Not just does it get um, a lar larger range, it also shoots faster, and it um, shoots faster for the same amount of energy, as far as I can tell, uh, that it would do, um, you know, the one bullet is still, is still the same amount of, of resources. So we'll throw that uh, as well in there. Put a, uh, another relay in. And goes over here. Put a uh, turret up on the ridge. There we are. I'm gonna send a um, a turret up there. I think. How am I gonna power it? So I'm gonna try to put it there. That didn't connect though. I don't think. Well, might as well just push um, all one can down here, I think. That's just as easy as, as going, connecting up here. At least, at least as a uh, initial strategy. Place down some uh, collectors here and there. Trust me, once you get into the later game of this game, um, that green color is going to be the color of your dreams. Uh, you're going to love that color. And the energy it provides you, not to mention. All right, now I think we can squeeze something in here somewhere. No, we can't. Really want to, once this lands, it will probably help out uh, keeping that paper right there. Um, back so i think we should be able to there we go um not that we really need it anymore because we can just place that there and we can put a nullifier did i not place something here probably not anyways yeah the, the, the relay reached long enough apparently uh put that there go with another structure if we even the time to make one uh, before we win and these up another one over here here we are and boom done all right uh, I will be um, recording at least another episode of this, uh, another few episodes of this probably. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please smack the like button. If you want to stay up to date on all things average, this series, or so many more, please be sure to subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Well then, here we go.